Alright guys, I'm Shane, the online media tutor, uh, and this is my first channel update video. Hello! So, the purpose of this video is to give you guys, my subscribers, hello, um, a bit of an idea of what I'm planning on doing with this channel, sort of between now and the end of the summer. So as you can see, I've decided that it's time that I've had to give in and appear on camera, uh, because it'll allow me to just be able to put videos out that much quicker so I can be a bit more responsive um, and so I can get content out on a regular basis, which is something I've struggled with in the past. But in order to aid me with this, as you can see, I've had to get um, a bit of a rig set up. So I've got a beautiful camera in front of me. I've got some external sound happening just here. Uh, but more importantly, I've decided to try and build myself a bit of a set. Here it is. Uh, as you can see, I've got the nice um, faux leather sofa going on, um, a kind of loosely relevant cushion. Uh, and a little bit of faff, some faff going on up there, just to try and build it up. Some white space here, um, so that I could, if I wanted to, maybe do the weather. Uh, but mostly for sort of putting up any graphics that might be useful as I'm going through the videos. Uh, but that's not the best bit. The best bit about this whole set thing that I've decided to build is... Ho oh, ho ho! Hey, what about that? So a little bit of backlighting as well, just to really set the mood. So. In future videos, I'm going to start with that on because I think that really is the star of the show. Okay, so what I've got coming up in future videos, I'm going to start with revamping my Beginner's Guide to Maya tutorial. So I first created that in 2013 and it served me very well. It's had a lot of views. Uh, it's helped a lot of people through learning the basics of Maya and that includes modeling and animation. But it's sort of now approaching the end of its useful life. Uh, I think it's time that, that was retired and I replaced it with a new model. Maya's changed quite a lot um, since 2013 and I don't think that the version that I made in 2013, although it's still good, is not as fit for purpose as it once was. So uh, I will be revamping that in the coming weeks or months, it depends how long it takes me to put that together. Uh, but keep an eye out for that. I'm quite excited about that. It's been sort of the biggest draw to my channel since I started it. So uh, I'm quite looking forward to getting that underway. So once I've got my Maya 2016 tutorials live, what I'll then hope to do is to create a beginner's guide to another piece of software. So I'd like your feedback to kind of influence what that might be. I'm thinking along the lines of something like Mudbox, I'm thinking it could be um, Unity, it could be 3ds Max, something 3D based, um, just to keep it interesting for me really. But I've never used any of those pieces of software before, so it'll be um, a learning experience for all of us. Uh, but that's something I'd like to get into to really sort of push my own education as well. Another thing that I'd like to get underway on my channel is something like a Q&A. Uh, at the moment I'm calling it, in, in my own head, Ask Online Media Tutor. And the point of that set of videos will hopefully be, when I get questions from you guys, uh, I'd like to be able to answer them quickly. And again, that's the reason for this whole setup, so it can be a lot quicker, so I can get responses out there to you guys um, in a timely manner. Um, so, what I need really from you lot is some questions. So I need to give you a little bit of background on what, what I know and what I'm willing to share with you. So by now, I think you're aware of the 3D stuff. Um, so especially my, uh, but anything I'm willing to look into. But my education is also in general media production uh, and also some media studies as well. So it might be things like um, audience, it could be narrative structure, it could be any part of the media. So if you're studying media or you've just got a question in your head, then get in contact with me through any of the usual methods. I will put them um, on screen. Maybe I'll put them up there. Using any of the methods to contact me, get me a question, uh, and then I will put out some videos uh, in which I can answer those. So we get a bit of back and forth going. That's my hope anyway. I'm going to keep on doing the theory videos with the little animated guy. Uh, so if you have got anything that you want to see covered in that series of videos, then again, get in contact with me and I'll put something together. At the moment, I'm still working my way through 3D theory, but I am also now looking to move on to some general animation theory. And I've already scripted something out on persistence of vision, frame rates, and the phi phenomenon. So hopefully it won't be too long before I get onto that. But if you've got any topics that you want to see me cover, get in touch. And one last thing um, that I'd like to share with you is more an idea than anything I'm definitely going to do. And it's been inspired by watching uh, another YouTube channel, another YouTuber, Draw With Jazza. If you haven't already subscribed to that guy, you definitely should. Uh, he's awesome. I will pop a link in the description down here. Um, and you should follow that. But that gave me an idea 
especially because I'm going to be learning new pieces of software, what I thought I could do is what I'm tentatively calling Let's Learn videos. I'm trying to create my own YouTube subgenre there. Uh, and the idea is, is that I find material. So let's say I'm learning Unity. So I might go to the Unity website and find their introduction to Unity tutorial videos and work through them. But the idea is that I would do them live, possibly using Twitch, or I would just stream straight to YouTube so that you guys could either follow along with me or see the process. So really, I'm just looking for whether or not you think that would work as an idea. Uh, because I think that would be the biggest time commitment on my part to put something like that together. So if you think it would work, maybe I'll crack on with it. Uh, if you don't think it would work, let me know and I, will, I won't waste my time. Okay, I think that's it. Thanks for sticking with this one. It's a little bit different to the, uh, the guff that I usually put on this channel. And I hope it does help to keep you lot informed of where I'm hoping this channel is going to go in the future. But that being said, I do want your input as well. So if there's anything that you want this channel to include, drop me a line uh, and I will look at how I can incorporate that into the, the channel I'm trying to build here. So I think that's me done in this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.